Hey, Kajudo fans, this is Kyle Reddish, and I'm here with David Woodward, first place winner of the KMC in Bedford, Texas, Saturday, April 12th, 2014. You have a 42 card. You call it Rocket Bugs? That's right. 42 cards. And how many are spells? Eight spells. And of those spells, how many are shield blasts? Six. Six? Okay. I went ahead and did them by mana curve. So let's go ahead and take a look. Three mana pod beetles. Pretty standard. Early acceleration. Yeah. Uh, one ambush scorpion. Uh, originally, I was with three stratus and zero ambush, and I realized I don't really use charge carapace that frequently, mm -hmm. and I wanted to drop the multi sip just a little bit, so. One how, many, how many multi sip total? It's 11. 11. 10, 11, 12 is about, about yeah. right. I like the 10, 11. Uh, two sprout. Uh, early, early I, found, I found the turn, turn two play is very important, uh, especially if you're playing other tempo or bugs. And if you don't have a turn two creature, the turn two sprout helps out quite a bit because then you go straight to the four drops. Okay. The shield tactics on Cyberlord Kirill. Amazing, especially for setting up those one calls. Um, played a rush deck, and I managed to drop an O one call that helped me win that game. Uh, additionally, if a hive queen ends up in the shields, you can fish it out. Okay. Understood. Understood. Uh, bug buddy, mana tick. Obviously, it's amazing. Good, good filtering. Yep. Stuff like that. Uh, combination with brood mother. We'll get to the brood mother just like just, just a moment. Uh, standard three keeper of loss. Yes. Spell um, siphon. It's pretty amazing if you can get it out there. Yesterday, I think there were only one or two games it was super crucial in. Um, but as a whole, I really like it. Absolutely. Worst case scenario, it's mono light fodder. Exactly, exactly. You went with two uh, Psychic Predator Rusoka and three Aqua Chasers. That's right. You feel that's right? Sure, why not? <laughs> I like the two and two. So, so I built this like three weeks ago and What's I tested it. Other? And I went undefeated with it and I was like, hey, great. And then I moved on to other ideas. Uh, and then Thursday, ran it again, thought I had three in there, looked through it, and said, oh, there's only two. There was a reason for that, I just didn't remember what it was, and then I decided not to change anything and mess it up. It's all right. Ultimately, which, you think, which one do you think is better, the, the super rare or the common? Uncommon? If you're playing it against Rush, generally this is better. Yeah. Um, otherwise, Psychic Predator wins out, hands down. Hand, hands down. Being able to lock down, repeatedly lock down, is amazing. And even against Tempo, with so many coming into play effects, locking down is a lot better than just bouncing. I agree. It's an interesting debate between the two in the community. I agree. You have five fire cards, That's one right. of which is a drill storm. Amazing Shield Blast versus uh, Rush, Tempo, stuff like that. Yeah, it was kind Birds. of uh, one of those last minute additions, like, oh, I want an extra Shield Blast, mm -hmm. and I need more red fodder, so yep. Drillstorm Tiger. got the pick. Okay. Uh, three, Broodmother. Not two, but three. Three, it's amazing. I don't know why you'd only go with two unless you really wanted to stay at 40. Yeah. Uh, and then even then, I'd risk decking out, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't go with that. Yeah, with only eight spells, you know, you're probably going to get one or more than likely two yeah. creatures every time. Uh, I always got at least one, except for one case yesterday and one case today. And the protector on it actually ends up being relevant in several cases. You wouldn't really think it, um, but especially when you have somebody try to lock it down with Psionic Predator. Yeah. And then there's lock somebody else down and swing into it. And you just, hey, yeah. protect. Yeah, because Predator, yeah. Predator says attack or block. Yeah. Doesn't say protect. Protect is not affected by that. Yeah, I agree. Very cool. Homunculon, uh, an amazing staple in bugs. Yep. Light nature card, amazing. Steam tape. Um, so, with the bugs, I wanted to take a different direction with it. And I thought of Psionic Predator Steam Tank combination pretty early on. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, round one, I did it a couple times. You can probably see it's it in the future match. Yeah, it's yeah. against Matt Ortiz. Where I Steam Tank out, I drop the Psychic Predator, lock something down, swing with it immediately, and lock something else down. Absolutely. If they've got a small creature tapped, uh, because you get the plus 2000 from Turbo Boost, Psychic Predator, and then pretty much all the bugs become bigger than most other little creatures. Yeah. So you end up killing something. Uh, and if it's a psychic predator that you attacked with, you kill something and you have two locked down. Yeah. That's just uh, incredible. During that, that round one feature match, I also noticed you go, uh, Steam Tank was on the field, so you evolve Hive Queen. You ripped a 
Stratus Beetle that has fast attack too now. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool combo. It's pretty crazy. Uh, one of the other things I found that I really like doing is Steam Tank and the Mixer and Homoculon. Yes. So I can tap down the Steam Tank, it's now 7,000, so he's big enough to kill almost anything at that level. And then Homoculon's 5,000 himself, so he can run over something else too. Absolutely. Oh, sort of call? Uh, probably the best shield blast in the game right now against any sort of tempo-ish because you get the shield blast creature out if it's got a come into play effect you get that bonus right away and you get the blocker yeah uh, so between a creature with a come into play effect and blocker you shut down two more attacks that are going on you and then in this it was amazing to go Osworn call steam tank so even though I don't get a come into play effect to stop another attack the next turn, I can start having fun with turn. You get to boost. untap and start your turn with it, yep. which is pretty amazing. Uh, the Hive Queen? She's amazing. Yep. Stir the Hive. Pretty good. Uh, Finbar? Uh, I found you either Finbar or you Queen. You've got to have one of them by six or seven, or you're going to be in big amount of trouble. Um, if you don't have one of those and you didn't get like two Broodmothers, your hand is going to be completely empty and you're going to be super vulnerable. Um, so Finbar combined with uh, the Swift Regeneration that's down there is actually very nice. Um, that ended up, that combination ended up winning me a game, and I'll talk about that in a second. Okay. And then you've got your single copy of Absolute Incineration. Helps you with the fire count, you know, makes five, and it's pretty, pretty, pretty nuts in general, in my opinion. It's pretty amazing, especially at an eight cost. I'm surprised it's not nine is in addition to Absolute Darkness being mm -hmm. nine. I can see that. Uh, yesterday it didn't come into play at all except for oh, yeah. mana food. Uh, uh, yeah. Today I ended up using it. I swept three creatures with it, and then Thursday testing I swept a board with it. If you're playing kind of a bug mirror, a lot of times it comes down to, well, who gets the queen and whose queen rips the homoculon. Uh, but if you happen to have drawn the absolute incineration or maybe fished out with Cyborg or Karyle from your shields, you be like, okay, well, I lost the queen, but sweep your own field. I win the game. Now, um, as far as your five mystic spells, your other one is Swift Regeneration. Very rapidly becoming one of my favorite cards in addition to Steam Tank. Uh, Comboing it off with Steam Tank is absolutely amazing. Um, because you can steam tank, you can swift regeneration, drop a steam tank, and a two drop creature, and the two drops now got fast attack. Um, and a power boost. And the power boost. Um, not being able to be banished unless they hit zero power is also absolutely incredible. I was in a situation yesterday where it looked pretty bad. He had a haven, a couple other big blockers, and an Andromeda out, and I popped swift regeneration for a fin bar to bounce his Andromeda, and then I just began swinging in with my creatures. He blocked, but it didn't do anything. I just loaded up my hand from fin bar, popped a couple shields, and the next turn there wasn't really anything he could do. He couldn't swing for game, and he can't kill any of my guys. Crazy. Crazy. Well, it, it wins games. Yeah, a lot, a lot of players be, forget about the uh, Yeah, the second part the of turn. it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's crazy amazing. Um, honestly, I think about running two of them in this. Speaking of changing anything, would you change anything? Looking back? going forward maybe a second regeneration uh, the absolute incineration didn't do anything yesterday like I said but it ends up being effective every once in a while and I probably should have a fifth red card at least in there um, otherwise I don't know really that it changed too much maybe drop Stratus down to one just because I don't find charge carapace really does that much right now I know it did last set it was pretty amazing but this set doesn't seem to be doing too much yeah I agree. maybe Keep drop it for either another ambush or or the other swift regeneration maybe a third psychic predator all right anything else for us Dave David no except I'll see you guys in Seattle there you I'm go, going bro. to Seattle <laughs> I know get a hoodie you get to draft, you get to yeah, play with... Yeah, I got a hoodie this time, it's awesome. You get to play with, and your hoodie has your local store on it too, which yeah. is awesome. So, and you're probably going to be one of 10 or 12 Texas players in the championship. It's pretty exciting, so we'll see you there. This is Carl Reddish for David Woodward. We'll see you guys later. Have a great one. That, Take care. That's DeAndre. Say what's up, DeAndre. What up, Kajudo fans? There you go.